Hi all, welcome back to the shop. Um, I finished the central drilling operation, so after having used the CNC uh, to locate the hole, um, I used my, my drill press to make um, the operation. So I use this kind of drill bit. It's a center, center drill, 10 millimeters for the big diameters, and I guess it's a uh, around four and a half millimeters for, for the tip and uh, so it gave me very nice very nice holes and they are all located in a proper position thanks to the CNC so the, the main difference between the manual operation and the CNC is based on the fact that uh, I save some time going directly from the print with the CNC and locate the holes. Uh, if you have to do the same job, uh, you can use some rolls and measurements to do uh, the job. So uh, it's not so accurate, but it works. So don't be limited, you know, by by the tooling. And uh, when you have some tool or, or advanced tooling like uh, CNC, uh, it's a good thing to use them to save some time. The first thing I want to mention is the fact that uh, I ordered a little bit my shop and uh, that I want to do uh, is to make some free space for the new CNC machine um, so I did move some things around the, uh, the shop and uh, I put the bench uh, close to the wall and uh, it's a way to to have more space in, in the middle and it's more easy to deal with the, the shop uh, things and um, I, I did the drill press there and uh, the other machine like my uh, CNC rotor and also my uh, my lathe and um, the future project uh, will have a space here uh, I just have to move a little bit the bench uh, on the left side uh, <clears throat> just to be sure that the new CNC machine we will be able to, to enter um, this space. The other thing I want to mention um, is the next step uh, of building the machine. So um, the the last episode we saw uh, the way I was uh, drilling the holes, and um, I, I always use uh, the same screws like this one uh, all over the machine. So I don't want to make different type of size and dips. So it will it will be always the same screw. Uh, so it will be more easier. Um, the other thing I want to do, uh, I want to hide the head. So I have to control sink uh, all the holes and that's um, why I bought uh, this little guy here. I can show you. Uh, so it's a kind of drilling bits and uh, it gives you the proper uh, size for the head. And um, the, the other thing that I can mention is the if you are looking to the to the uh, to the end of this um, drilling size, um, there is a tip that can be guided inside a hole. So the first thing you have to do is to to make the hole for this good size, and then uh, only calibrate and locate the tips you need, and you have a very good rivet with uh, this kind of tools. So, uh, it's the next step for the new CNC machine on this plate. I have something like a 66 or 68 hole to cut and seek. So, I uh, will use my drill press for that. And uh, we'll show you the results and also the machining uh, operation. I will show you uh, the, the way the cutter seeking uh, drilling is working. So, the first thing to do is to uh, locate the hole you want with the, uh, the pin and uh, then you can start put some oil and to be sure that everything is lubricated and then you can start so you start slowly very slowly to add the plate centering okay you release the pressure several times to get uh, making a debris operation 
it's a big dream. So the hole just little smaller than the pin location. So we start. So we put some more oil. Ready to pressure to be sure to raise the cutting material. What is the pressure? We add our oil. And go to the depths. So the depths, I have a stop that on the drain press, so I use it to be sure they are the same shot. So here it is. And you can see the way the material is, is cut it with uh, this kind of, of tool. So I have just finished the, the counter sinking operation. So I can make a zoom. Oh, you will have a better view of the of the job. So uh, nice and smooth. And uh, I have to do it on both sides, depending on, on the print. So uh, the internal side is done here. I have another one done uh, in this area. And uh, I also deburr uh, those holes, and I use um, a simple 45 angle uh, hand mill, and uh, with a manual, you know, machine. So it's uh, quite easy, gives no efforts, and it gives very good results. If you can see the chamfer here. Yeah. So it's uh, nice and smooth. So let's do the, the other plates and then the other side of the plates.